and you can see the debris or at least the dust that is spitting up on the bottom portion of that tornado as this is coming in. So as often or as easy as it's to look at the tornado itself, look at the winds and, and the cloud base. You can see how it's swirling around and rotating too. So the upper level winds are moving fast. The electricity on the right hand of your screen too, pulsing through, showing the instability. We've been tracking a lot of tornadoes this year, Marissa. This may be the best vantage point and visual we have had so far because of the rural landscape of eastern Colorado. You know, northeastern Colorado, eastern Colorado has seen a lot of action this summer in terms of thunderstorms that aren't only severe, they may be prompted flooding. We've seen a lot of um, land spouts. This one is not a land spout. This looks to be an actual tornado. As you can mm -hmm. see the funnel stemming from the parent thunderstorm above. Um, but yeah, I mean, to see this play out, as you mentioned, though, a relatively rural area. As we get further into um, further into the east, it does flatten out quite a bit. And, and this is typical behavior, especially as we've seen this year. Yeah, and, and when you're looking at radar as well, you're seeing we had strong rotation picked up. This tornado is staying on the ground and it is solidified. It looks like uh, Nick might have gone to Yuma and is hanging a right right now. When we're watching this here, that's really the only option you have. There's that weak rotation now just south of Yuma. But when you're looking from this camera, camera vantage point, I mean, that doesn't look like weak rotation. That is tightened up and it is still on the ground. When you get to Yuma, you can see, yes, it's a rural area, but each and every town, that is when you see the population increase drastically. And so the concern is that this is right over the southern aspect of this town. And uh, oftentimes when you're near an agricultural community, you will have mobile home parks and those can be susceptible to this. And when we look at this weak rotation with radar, and we have this high resolution uh, visual, there's actually portions of the town that are underneath that rotation. So that's a concern. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.